This one over here. Okay. Are we are we understanding what he's saying? No. Ninety 
Every single Native American that's come to get healed has gotten healed in three weeks. So this is what we call a medicine wheel. A medicine wheel in the Okay, so there are traditional ceremonial place that this is an indoor solar greenhouse. This is, this is an inside. The students coming will learn how to work this. Break this kind of green. One minute I make I make some few corrections. The that area we learn Joshua. This is an area where before the one come up with this uh, yeah, solution for tree of line. Ninety percent of the people they believe with diabetes. But after the way they come up with them, they use three weeks for treat those ninety people. So that means they get them before, after we treat them, they don't get them again. Yeah. So that the area is this solar green house, and the area where they go and they don't be saying they still try to treat the people. Then we do want to bring them up ninety percent of the population. They believe we. Now, a special solar preparation. That is saying that your solar information is also a special preparation. It will be the natural way that we will be using for a later diabetes. So it's a fine for good exercise when you get diabetes. Like on understand that you don't have the photographs. This is a, a part of a Native American ceremony. I've been um, of what we call sun dancer, you go four days without food or water dancing in the sun. This is missing. So you want a uh, spot of the, uh, the spiritual ceremony where they are going to come for the diabetes. That's sometimes like for 40 days they have to they get for without food. Four days, yes. Four days. Four days. No food or water. So I'm doing the ancient pipe ceremony. This is a labyrinth. This is our little temple. Now I'm going to get the temple. Now this is uh, working uh, with uh, some of our Muslim schools in East Jerusalem. This is a fast, what that looks like. In our last fast, we had 12 diabetics. We had 100 people, but 12. And 11 of those 12 got normal blood sugars with no medication in one week. So 11 out of 12. So it is in the last phase this way, the beginning of the diabetes ceremony. And for this uh, last phase, then we get uh, 12 people with diabetes. And so after that, 11 people out of the 12, they look at the diabetes. That is the number of people right And the 12th dropped their blood sugar 220 points. Let me see, they dropped their blood sugar 220 points. But we needed a few more days. So this is us in there. This is a group there in Israel. This is speaking on a plant source diet in Israel. Just speaking about the, the correct diet. Yeah, so uh, this one's so now for Israel. I wait to visit the plant series Israel. So if you talk, if you give them the directives, the craft diet, or give them the best way to live on like you know, all these things that I want to do, I think so just what I want to do. So this is the Chief Native American for all the United States. Dennis Bennett. He's the chief for all of the United States. Okay, so you the chief uh, for this, uh, uh, for all the tribes. Yes, all the for all the tribes that have diabetic treatment in the whole United States. And he healed his diabetes. So he healed the diabetes. This is a peace thing. This is. 
Fati from Ethiopia. She came and trained at the tree of life. Now Fati is from Ethiopia where he became the obtained the training for tree of life, just like uh, the devotee. Some few of you may have already mentioned that they will go and get the training to do it. And now, this is Bhati in Ethiopia preparing the live vegan food uh, for her senior center that she started. Okay, so now in Bhati, that after a training, you want to know in Ethiopia, we don't come and then we carry out the exercise. The senior citizens. For the senior citizens. These are the senior citizens. This is the, the food that you learn to prepare. This is a medical school in Oxum, Ethiopia. That's a big basketball. It's I'm a big lecturing there. This is a lecturing to people in Ethiopia like here. Do I know the dogs who got people from the Ethiopia? This is Nigeria. And here the kids are learning the good habits, like the mayor said. They're all eating vegetarian food. None of them will get diabetes if they do what we're training in the garden Yeah, so that the, this one that, that begin the way that they, they, they feed on the, 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 the tree of life food. So they already train them how to prepare this food. So which way Dr. Dairy and I say a full practice for leaf on this food will never ever even get by diabetes and get and for the toxic trip. They've even started a garden now. Just John just came from there and they now have a garden for the school. So they they they, they, they just they start out of Ghana, they don't really start out for Ghana. So he became now from Ghana. They made the school for that tree and we go on now. It's part of our program that people get the best food to eat so they don't get diabetes. So now it's in a part of their program for teach people how to get for, for feed on the right food where you know what enable them to get diabetes. So we're putting the energy into the schools to train the, the to the train the children. Yeah, so they, they put a lot of energy in the program for do the training so that we get effective. They're all pretty happy. Carrots. Yes, carrots. Here we are in Ghana. There's John. And this is the local Ghana uh, for Nigeria. Wari. President of Waris as well. And this is the local Ghana for uh, Ghana. And right here. This is some of the people at our conference like this. And here we go from that. And here we have built a center in Ghana, in the mid Volta area, that feeds the seniors and the children. And again, training the kids about how to eat well and live well. And our plan is to keep teaching in all the schools how to eat well. This is Mexico. So we're doing this all over. And this is my wife here, and this is me, and then this is the head of the center, it's an orphanage. Look at all the good food. Here we are. Oh, you're not getting talking. Okay, which we try for explain and forget, I see uh, this program where they did one so a part of their mission. It does, they, they just feed now for, they do not come for cheat weed, but they come for teach weed, how to go about this. So that they really get for move around, they do the training, so that we to feed the camp, we practice them, perfect them, then we we'll live like these people. So John helps set up, he's not in the picture, I don't know what happened, he's probably taking the picture. He's probably taking the picture, but this is, this is what we're doing. We're trying to teach the children this is an orphanage, but it's also connected with the school. Yes, yeah, so as I don't talk about the, the, the way that we really try to go, especially even with the children, like for this picture, the orphanage. So we go for orphanage to uh, where one of the most important places, like you know, for 
that often they so some things that, like this one they be uh, very important, very necessary, but they don't know how to go about. They wanna, this is the minister how from Papua New Guinea. Who gave you the tree and healed his diabetes? Minister of Health. Minister of Health. That's the big man we did with the government, the health we did. And, and this is the Speaker of the House. And that is Kevin. Yeah, the other one is the Speaker of the House. So we're giving a, a national TV show. This is the Dead Sea. There's me, my This is uh, the school that we have. And this is the Master of the Banana Gardening and Nutrition. A lot of things we teach. This is the gardening. This is where people can learn to prepare the food coming for six months. This is the center. Okay. So, one of the things to understand that in every medical school in the world is taught that you cannot heal diabetes. Every medical school in the world teaches it's impossible to have diabetes. So, plenty of medical school that for the world they teach people they say you know if you cure diabetes. So, how medical school they just say you know if you cure diabetes? How if you say that you cure diabetes 60 percent in three weeks? When medical school they just say you know if you cure them, then if they talk to them, how they can cure them? There's an old teaching, if you go in the wrong direction, you'll end up in the wrong direction. So they give a wrong teaching, because if they give that kind of teaching, it means that they put them in the wrong direction, and if they continue to put them that kind of teaching, they go in the wrong direction too. If you don't understand diabetes, and you don't know how to heal it, then of course you're not going to be successful. So if you don't understand what the cause of diabetes, and if you don't really understand how to treat the diabetes, then how are you going to treat them? So you must first understand what the cause and you will understand how to treat them too. So our approach is very simple and it works. Society is always taken by surprise by any new example of common sense. So the approach to treat diabetes is very simple. But that approach with the treat diabetes the work because you now see that show percentage of the plenty for the that cure. So it's like in as a small parable for they say society they always surprised when you come up with some different idea. Oh man, no if you talk to me, they talk to me, they talk to me, they talk, but when you talk some different thing, they need to feel sometimes they talk the wrong thing. So this approach they want to bring us so not be the standard way because they talk medical people they talk and say no treat diabetes. But I come and say, with natural food, we can treat diabetes. And it's that simple. And as simple as that it is. No be complicated thing. Now, I'm going to try to explain this in simple terms. And that is, what is the cause of diabetes? Okay, it could not explain simply, wait till the cause of diabetes. If you take a lot of white sugar, you know that normal sugar cube. A lot um, soft drink, then Coke, Fanta, that kind of mimbo, then so. Flour too, you know, my flour, if you have a big, 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 big thing, then for bakery, that kind of thing, then so that you cause diabetes. You cause a shift in your genes. So why you chop that kind of chop, then so you alter the way, your, your natural way they make you. We call that say gene genetics. It causes an DNA, DNA. Yeah, it causes an alteration for the way the natural make you. And we call that say gene. And the key to healing diabetes is to shift the gene back to normal again. And this, the secret for healing diabetes is to make an army that gene way it has shift because of all the kind of chop them to make a me go back for the way we call the make a me. And that's what our healing program does. And at the way that we did, at the approach that we did, they take up for cure the diabetes. In our last 120 people, 
that I lost in my new book on diabetes. Oh, he he derived some book for diabetes where he do some studies there with 120 people then. In three weeks, 61 percent of the non-insulin dependent diabetes healed. After three weeks, 61 percent of that people then. We die. You know, say diabetes is not so kind. Of one day we eat pen or insulin. One day we cause na we we get an adi we we chop. So now we get an adi we we chop. Sixty one percent of that people them as they control their diet, they start chop fine. They they be cured from diabetes. Twenty weeks. Twenty four percent of the people who are insulin dependent cured their diabetes. It's four percent of that people. Really they surprise. No insulin lets you go less than 121 percent. So 21 percent of that one, and type one, type one hour we need to take insulin, so they be healed after the approach. And another part of what happens with diabetes is inflammation. And uh, many diabetics tend to are uh, overweight. And the fat actually inflames the whole system and stimulates diabetes. So it's really because diabetes is not inflammation, you know, inflammation are uh, when you see things swell. And so when you chop that kind of chop the way you get you make a the fat, you inflame your skin too, then it cause diabetes. Now when you show picture they see fat fat for your name. And that fat is like a separate organ that gives off what we call inflammatory substances that actually inflame and make the diabetes happen. So that fat now we give that fair skin. When plenty fat the fair skin now the convener give product then the give a kind product the way the contribute now to cause that diabetes. And now we see the American Diabetes Association actually says you could drink this. So for American Diabetes Association they just say if you drink that kind of people they will tell you the kind of people. So then I talk on a calculator of the autonomy of America. The research shows that if you have one of these bottles a, a week, there's a 15% increase in diabetes. So research that shows you as Dr. Dad do study, study, study. It shows if you take one, one that bottle so every week, if you increase your chance to get diabetes by 50%. 15, but if it's twice a week, it's 50%. Okay, if you take a once a week, if you increase your chance by 15%, but if you take two bottles, that two bottles for inside one week, you increase your chance by up to 50%. If you look at that closely, what we're saying is many people drink a soft drink every day. And all we saw, every day we go to keep by, now we see the color, and then you want to blast in you. Planet. Planet, yeah. Uh -huh. Now we drink planet almost every day, every day, every day. So you can see just doing this one thing is going to accelerate diabetes. So you mean say if if we don't do any people will maybe only that shot so the drink already the planet itself, will this each up fine, you will see increase the diabetes itself. So one in terms of prevention for people who have pre-diabetes is stopping all soda drinks and going back to the heavenly gift called water. Fresh, clean water. And so that people there is in the right until they are also pre diabetes. So if it's a small time, they will get them. First thing will start to say, start stop the kind planets in them. Start keep make sure that they drink water. You know, once you drink planet every day, we keep trying to drink our water. Sir. And also, we will play for the very day we drink water again, sir. They drink our planet. Soft drinks, soft drinks in general, not just planet. Soft drinks, all sweet drinks. Nice. All soft drinks. All soft drinks. Let me explain one more thing. The research also compared so-called non-sugar soft drinks with a sparkling in it. It was worse. It was 50% worse because the aspartame Actually, aspartame actually damages the beta cells of the pancreas, so they actually get worse having a non-sweet. So the non-sweet soft drink, if you ask the they call it Coca-Cola Light or Coca-Cola Zero. That one, you know, push sugar, they, 
Mais il y a un de il met un 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 il il met un 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 If a society wants to get rid of diabetes, all the soft drinks, the non caloric soft drinks, you can go. So, if you want to stop the diabetes, you need to stop that soft drink then. If you want to get sugar, even now you don't see the non sugar soft drink, you need to stop it all. I'm just going to go through more quickly. Uh, Now I want to show, this morning we did the blood sugar test. This is a normal blood sugar test. After eating, having sugar, it goes up a little bit and it comes back down. That's normal. Okay, so the two blood sugar tests this morning. If you look at so a day for day, you see 80 for day. So that way a chop for morning time, you will increase, go up small. If you go for 100, But now it's done, it will come down back so. So the normal level that's so for sugar away when you get to eat today. So after that chop, you need to go upstairs, it passes far on the small so than the normal level that. But when we go for morning time, you'll be around that 80 so than the normal one. When you chop, you go up small, then you'll come back down. And this is called glucose spiking. So they call that thing say glucose spiking, and the term that they use, and they say a glucose It starts small and it gets up about close to 200. So if you go start low, so then you go up quick, quick. I think now when you don't chop that sugar, you make an hour, you go up quick, quick. And, and that actually is considered as, uh, as bad as diabetes. And even although it will still come back down, but they say, say it even bad, they say all the time here, sugar, you go up, set, come down. So even though that's normal, we're looking at 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes to really an hour and 15. After eating, if this is up, we know that's most likely going to be diabetes. So you, when you chop that sugar in the soup, it go up. You'll day for your day up so between 30 and 45 minutes. You see, for 30 minutes, it'll up the top. For this point would be right here, would be this high. About 126. Okay. So if, if you've been at diabetes from 126 go up, you've been at the point that we don't consider And it would stay up a little bit. Okay. I'm just going to make it simple here. Um, For newspaper article, they see the Aggie headlines say for newspaper, the New York Times has a newspaper for America. They say diabetes has no cure. And uh, diabetes is an incurable disease that affects the body's ability to produce or respond to the American Diabetic Association. American Diabetic Association is an association for us.